Hello, we're going to show you some of the reading techniques that you can use at home. They're the kind of activities that I would normally use when I have a small group of children, so they'd be perfect for you to use one to one. And it's just some different questions for you to ask. We're going to be using the book Arthur and the Golden Rope, which is perfect for year threes and fours. So to start with, one of the techniques that we would use to encourage good expression is the adult would read the line and then the child takes over for the second line even if it's not the end of a sentence, like this. My most treasured possession is actually... This humble collection of books. They contain... Tales of lands and creatures long forgotten. As told by the people who collected these. These amazing objects, my ancestors. Another activity you can do is where you play a game called Mind the Gap, where you read as the adult, and when you leave a gap... The, adult, the child has to fill it in. So I would say they include such adventures as Eleanor Brownstone's discovery of the Crystal Kingdom and her subsequent death-defying escape. So the idea of this is that you're making sure that the child is following what you're reading and that they're paying attention. And it's also quite good for reluctant readers. Um, something else you can do is you can say to the child, can you find for me an exclamation mark? Yeah. Excellent. Can you find a word which means the same as an exciting experience? Ventures. Yep. And can you find a word which means the same as bold? Death to find. Very good. So what you're practising there is something called synonyms. Synonyms are words which mean the same as another word. So those are just a few things for you to be trying at home to help your child stay engaged with their reading. Thank you.